Good afternoon, YouTube. I wanted to take a quick moment to discuss the whole home dehumidifier that I just completed the install on. It's an Ultra Air 98 pint system, and I've connected it to a Nest thermostat to allow it to control the humidity. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, I should probably use a separate thermostat or a separate humidistat to control the humidity in the home. Well, if you have a Nest, you've already spent probably $200 for this device and can easily integrate it to trigger the dehumidifier to come on or off as uh, required. So on the Nest, if you select it twice here, it's kind of set kind of low, but if you look here, it'll actually read out, I can zoom the camera a little bit, a temperature and a humidity level. So that there is showing 52% humidity. And with a couple minor settings in the professional mode, you could <clears throat> actually um, adjust and set it to that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this nest off the wall just for a second so you can see the terminal that I really care about is the star terminal. So that brown wire is not used. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wires. So around the black tape is a black and a white colored wire. So that's two. Three is yellow, four is orange, five is green, six is red, seven is blue, and eight is the star brown wire. So the C wire is the, called the common wire in this system, and that's gonna be important. Uh, I'll show you here in a second when we go down to the, the crawl space. But the star wire, or the brown wire, is just an extra wire that goes from the thermostat here down to the air handling unit. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll use that brown wire at the air handling unit and pull that to the dehumidifier and that will send a 24 volt signal to trigger the dehumidifier to come on and off. So in the Nest professional mode setup, you um, can adjust what that star does as an alternate configuration. So it's kind of weird here to get the Nest lined up to the circuit board connected. Damage it. There we go. And so it's set up there. Uh, there we go. So that's that's that. So now we're going to jump down to the basement or the crawl space in this unit and uh, shoot the rest of the video. So here's the entrance to the crawl space. Outside we have just a normal compressor. This is a, an electric heat pump style setup. So you have electric backup heat, and then you have this compressor to provide air conditioning, and it also is used to remove heat from the building, or correction, uh, uh, remove cold from the building or add heat to the air in the wintertime. So heat pump style, think of heat pump. And over here, you see the condensate drain outside so we just stubbed out a one inch piece of pvc instead of taking it to the septic system which really wasn't needed so one inch pvc stubbed out and then a 90 degree turn down to exhaust the condensate now you could integrate it into the the leach field or the um the drain field around the house for the gutter system but we decided not to do that okay so coming down into the crawl space you see the old air handling unit and you see a big 10 inch duct. Kind of come around here, show you the survey of the land here. Um, so, here we have an Ultra Air dehumidifier installed. I was going to take a video of the install, but it was a little bit cramped, honestly, down here. And I didn't want to uh, get going too crazy with that. I wanted to focus on the install. Took about a day, maybe, yeah, probably less than that, half a day. A um, couple trips to get supplies, made sure I had all that stuff ahead of time. So with this dehumidifier, it's got a six inch port, which is the black line here, which takes fresh air from the outside. It's kind of hard to see there, but goes back. Let's see if I could focus this a little bit better. Maybe not. Um, fresh air from the outside. And then this 10 inch duct here takes a suction from the return cold air return side on the air handling unit. So what I did here was just modify, this was a six inch opening, I modified that to be 10 inch opening. 
and then uh, ran a 10 inch line for that and then ran the cold air the external air supply that actually went to this to the dehumidifier so that we get dehumidified fresh air into the house um, so one nice feature about this ultra air system is that it's got a filter access panel on both sides so this access panel is on the other side same same access panel you can open it up and filter slides out one not so nice thing about the ultra air is that the filter size is kind of proprietary so you're going to find yourself looking for a 14 by 17.5 by 1.75 inch filter it's a merv 13 which is pretty high high rating so you gotta keep that in mind so you have the condensate drain here and then it goes to a condensate pump and then the thin line kind of goes up and over and i'll show you the other side there where that discharges to and then power supply for the condensate pump power supply for the uh, ultra air dehumidifier coming to a receptacle that's pretty close proximity to everything else here and then the condensate pump for the air handler for the air conditioning side is there uh, so inside here this is the panel that we took off and we found that extra brown wire just curled up doing nothing so we ran a a wire from here inside over to the ultra air and then on the ultra air you have a couple different connections here so this was tough to to find i didn't have there's nothing online and nothing in the books that are really, is really going to show you how to wire this up so this is a critical point here um the dehum d-e-h-u is the trigger to turn the unit on and then the common terminal, which you can see here is blue wire, is the, the like basically your supply and return. So the 24 volt signal comes to the dehume section, triggers the unit to come on, and then the blue goes back, that wire gets routed back to the air handler, and the air handler has a blue group of blue wires inside there and a common called the common terminal. So you just connect the two blue wires basically to this, brown wire gets uh, wire nutted inside there and then comes over to the dehumidifier and then that connects to the star terminal on the nest thermostat so with that being said when you do your nest thermostat setup it will prompt you to say hey with the star terminal what do you have connected to that and then you say that you have a external dehumidifier selected and it will automatically trigger the fan on the air handler to come on in parallel with the the dehumidifier running which is critical so for those of you that I don't have a, a diagram to show you, but basically the, the suction of this dehumidifier comes from the cold air return from the house through the 10 inch line, through the dehumidifier with its own fan in the dehumidifier gets pumped out the 10 inch line and then to the supply registers of the home. Now, what you can't see here, but I promise you is installed is a backdraft damper, which is right here. So what that allows is air to go that direction with a motor force from the dehumidifier, but no air from the air handler to get pushed back to the dehumidifier. So air handler, air fan supplies the registers, dehumidifier, air fan supplies the registers with dehumidified air, uh, but the, the main air handler won't send air back to the dehumidifier with that backdraft damper. So uh, one thing I didn't install, which is why the fan on the air handler has to run in parallel with the dehumidifier, is another baffle damper. So basically saying, hey, if we're dehumidifying the air, I wanna stop the flow of air to the air handler um, so that there wouldn't be any air that runs through this section. Uh, so I'm not, I didn't do that. And I don't think it, it really would have been um, cost beneficial. I think it's, it's better to run the air handler fan at, at the same time. And the Nest thermostat knows this and easily allows you to integrate that. So one thing you might wanna uh, consider is this just has a standard one inch 20 by 20 filter. If you're gonna be pushing this amount of air through a home, you might consider upgrading your filter assembly to a filter box style. Uh, I chose not to do that in this scenario. This is gonna be a house that I'm gonna put on the market here shortly. Um, but I wanted to basically just get something that allows us to control the air quality in the home. A whole house dehumidifier is critical to um, controlling air quality, especially in the Pacific Northwest. So uh, one thing you do want to remember is that you're going to need to be replacing your filters a little bit more frequently because you got the fan running, moving air through the home much more than you might normally have 
just in an area where you know you just have the heat running when it's needed or the air conditioning running when it's needed now this scenario you're going to have the dehumidifier running more frequently to maintain the humidity level in the home um, in the summertime you're going to run the ac much less the dehumidifier will run a little bit more it's cheaper to run the dehumidifier than it is to run the ac unit um, one other thing so see so i don't know if i could turn the light on here maybe actually that's that's not too bad um, so these here are ratchet cables to lift the dehumidifier up. I was able to put this in unit in myself. It's about 100 pounds or so. Got it slid through this relatively small opening. It just it just fit in, and then got it on the mounting brackets and ratcheted it up into place. Um, so if you can see back here, this is just some extra Tigon tubing, but here is a one inch PVC comes up uh, I don't know if I can get a good shot there but it's not trapped in any way it's just a line to direct condensate out side and then the tie gun tubing from the condensate pumps uh, let's recap here so we talked about how we integrated this dehumidifier with the nest thermostat we talked about how we did not need to go buy a new thermostat or a humidistat and we talked about how great the ultra air air handler is and how good of a warranty it is and made in america that sort of thing um and the pretty simple wiring diagram so star terminal brown wire to air handler air handler brown wire pigtail new brown wire to the dehumidifier blue common wire from the dehumidifier back to the air handler and then nothing needs to change in the thermostat wiring other than adding the brown wire to the star terminal and then reprogramming your Nest thermostat to tell you tell it that you have a dehumidifier installed. And it'll automatically trigger the air handler fan to turn on when the dehumidifier is running. So I uh, hope this uh, helped some folks that are getting ready to install an Ultra Air system. This doesn't only work with Ultra Air. Any dehumidifier that is a 24 volt triggering system will work with a Nest thermostat. So keep that in mind. If you don't wanna spend the money on the Ultra Air and you wanna get something cheaper, you can do that but it has to have a 24 volt triggering system. So keep that in mind with your uh, plans and preparation. And as always, if you like this type of content, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel because we'll try to post more content as it becomes available. I appreciate it and we'll talk to you later.